Hey, welcome back to Greg GXP Reviews. And tonight I got a special one for you because I'm going to break it open from the past, should I say. Um, I'm going to be serving it in this tiny little glass. And if you can see, look right here. Let me see if I can get a good shot of that. Hmm. You won't probably be able to see it until the um, beer is in the bottle or the little glass here. But I've already pre-opened it because I've already had this beer a year ago today and I wanted to bust it open again. And the same thing had happened to me that um, from that bottle that it did from this bottle and the cork kind of, it was just totally over dried from aging. But without further ado, here it is right here. I'm going to be working with none other than Samuel Adams Triple Bach. And this is the 1994 Reserve. Now, let me go ahead and get a little pour on this. Look at that. That is just simply beautiful. Let me let me turn this light on and see if I can't get a better um, glimpse of it. This is going to be one for the books. Um, here you go. Here's a um, a better view. And this is just so dark, so so dark. Um, I I don't have uh, specifics. I was on their um, little page earlier this afternoon. I was trying to um, look up uh, what was all in this because this is such um, one of those unique brews that is, it only came out from 1994, 1995, and 1997. I have all three vintage years, but um, from even talking with other reviewers, this beer itself has aged pretty well, um, where some of the other ones are just they're not up to par per se. Um, it's like they still need a few years to finish aging. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've still been deliberating on this beer because this is a really, really high ABV beer. Um, this, like I said, being from 1994, this was one of this was the epitome of uh, Samuel Adams. Uh, how do I want to put this? Uh, high gravity beers, um, extreme, um, experimental, and uh, I'd I do like to read a little excerpt from their website real quick. Um, it just says smooth, complex, and unusual um, port wine. Um, this is Sam Adams Triple Bock, and this craft beer launched the Odyssey into extreme brewing. Um, it is brewed with Tetanang, Hallertau, um, Noble Hops. Um, it uses two Row Harrington and chocolate malts. It uh, uses uh, the two Sam Adams yeast. It does not list them. It just says just those two yeast. Ruby Black, and I, I would, I would seriously like to agree with that because if you if you skim the surfaces, I mean, you get this golden color, but at the same time. You cannot see through this. I mean, of course, if you could get a light bright enough to shine through it, you're definitely going to get like that ruby um, tinges right around this edge of the glasses. IBUs, this says NA. Why? Because uh, the flavors are just so strong and so complex. Um, it, it, I wish they would actually try to rebrew this and come out with it again, being that... Uh, it, I mean, look, 1994, we're, we're just now getting into 2014, so I, that's why I thought I would bust this open. Um, this comes in at 18% alcohol, and it, it's just a beauty. Um, I, I've heard a lot of negative feedback on this. I mean, you just definitely, number one, you're definitely going to taste the alcohol, and you're definitely going to smell it. Maple syrup and chocolate are there. Definitely smells like um, 
of barrel aged beer. Uh, it just smells so strong, so sweet. Without further ado, Ross. Wow. Okay. As soon as it hits the back of the throat, you're definitely going to get a little bit of that alcohol. Coming in at 18% alcohol by volume. And this bottle, they're only served in these little 8.45 full ounce bottles. And, and it's just insane the amount of flavor that I'm getting off here. Definitely, definitely, definitely that big, 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 big um, baker's chocolate. Um, I'm also getting uh, a, a very light but sweet maple syrup, almost like, um, like, like kind of like a pure maple syrup, but it, it's toned down because of the years that this beer has been aged. Um, I'm also getting like a coffee note, but I'm also getting some dark fruit notes, plums, figs, um, sugary dates. But there is also just a hint of like a vanillic smoothness in here. Um, this is just simply one to sit back, sip on for the rest of the evening and enjoy. Why? Because of the fact that it's so unique. And um, I, I don't want to say that it's still rare. Because, the, I mean, there are so many people that have hung on to these bottles. Um, I... I do digress. If people do not take care of these bottles, um, you will wind up getting a dry cork. Um, good thing it's sheared off just good enough where that's not like flaked um, because it kind of went port side down there. I can see it floating above. But at the same time, like I said, um, it, it broke off just nicely enough where it's like I, I can sit here and sip on this and I don't have to worry about no cork floating in my beer. <laughs> um, but with that said, man, hey, if you guys have had this, man, check it out now. Um, especially if anybody's got any bottles left, check it out. Give it a give it a re-review. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Go back and visit that beer because this beer here, it is just simply a joy. Um, I, I still wish that I could get more of it. I wanted. I wish I could taste it fresh. Um, there's just, it's no possible way for me to do that now. Oh. Mm. I just love how smooth it is, how creamy it is, but at the same time, it is very dangerous because it is very drinkable. I mean, just because you get a little bit of that heat... Um, from the alcohol, it, it cleanses your palate, but it also leaves a little bit of film left over as it travels back into the back end of your palate. So therefore, it's still going to leave that um, kind of like sugary residual like film of flavors left behind. Um, again, happy holidays, man. Happy New Year's. Peace. Gross. Hope you guys stay safe. Please don't drink and drive. Hey, please don't text and drive. Be safe out there. Happy New Year's. Gracias.